let's take a couple minutes to talk about pH. So pH is a measure of the acid or base character of a solution. Now I'm very careful in how I state that because sometimes people think, well, pH tells you how strong an acid is or how weak an acid is. But we have to be a little bit careful because strong refers to the value of Ka, as does weak. When we're talking about pH, what we're talking about is the acidity of the solution. So highly acidic tells us about, or is something that we determine based on the pH. Um, this is, seems like a subtle difference, but it's a very important distinction so that we can be very clear about the language we're using when we're describing acids and bases and when we're describing solutions. So if we're talking about pH, we're talking about the acidity or basicity of the solution that we're dealing with. If we're talking about an acid being strong or weak, we're really talking about the Ka of that strong or weak acid. All right, so let's take a look at that pH scale a little bit. Um, and we can start with our idea of Kw. We talked about Kw, that's the autoionization constant for water. And we said that Kw is equal to 10 to the minus 14th. And we're going to stick with that idealized number um, just to make our discussion here a little bit easier. So in neutral water, and I'll say pure water, H3O plus concentration is equal to 10 to the minus 7th. Now, in 2020, working with a number like 10 to the minus 7th really isn't that daunting. And we, we have calculators that can do all kinds of very, very large and very, very small um, calculations for us. So this isn't so bad. But it's a little clumsy if we just want a, a simple way to describe a solution. And that's where pH comes in because pH is a way for us to describe the H3O concentration using numbers that are a little bit easier to work with. So pH is equal to negative log of the H3O plus concentration. Now, pull out your calculator, plug in that 10 to the minus 7th. So for a neutral solution, for neutral pure water, pH is equal to negative log of 10 to the minus 7th, right? Which, if you remember your log rules, uh, common log is base 10, so these two functions kind of uh, invert each other, cancel each other out. We're left with minus 7. The negative there gives us a pH of 7 for that neutral solution. If pH is less than 7, uh -huh. we describe that as an acidic solution. And if And if pH is greater than 7, we describe that as a basic solution. 
And again, I'm being kind of careful and, and specific about the terminology I'm using. I'm talking about acidic solutions and basic solutions. This is a different idea than strong acids and weak acids. So that's a quick little tour of pH. We're going to use pH as a convenient way for us to monitor equilibria and really look at how acids and bases behave.